Within a few months of starting psychiatry, I was realising there was something seriously wrong with it. It was immediately obvious to me that the psychiatrists were making claims that they couldn't have made, that they were making claims which simply were not justified in biology. Um, but if you stand up and say that what you're doing, gentle, ladies and gentlemen, is not science, it's pseudoscience, then you are challenging what's holding the whole profession together. What's happening in psychiatry is that there is a general agreement there will be no criticism of the status quo. There will be no criticism. I think secretly they know deep inside that if anybody criticises this or examines this too closely, it might fall apart. This is all held up. The sky hook that holds this palaver, this mess of jargon in place, is the single injunction, mental disorder is brain disorder. That is the single intellectual hook that holds this edifice in the air, that stops it all collapsing in a heap. They just make this claim, mental disease is brain disease. But that, as I've said, is an ideological claim. People are being told, you have a chemical imbalance of the brain which is genetically determined and you've got it for life and there's nothing you can do about it and you will forever be limited and restricted and you must take these tablets which will dampen your um, creativity, your sensitivity, your awareness, your, they will damage your sexuality. You've got to do this because you're sick and we can see it but you can't. Now that is the the that to me is the catastrophe that has to be exposed. The general public needs to know where their hundreds of millions of dollars of research money is going, and where their billions upon billions of dollars of treatment money is is going, and above all, where their sons and daughters and mothers and fathers are going, and that's where it's at. Bugger the money, excuse me, but bugger the money. It's the lives that count.